Today we're making a glowing potion tree, people. How awesome is that? That's right, a glowing potion tree for Halloween. Now, this is a DIY project like I've never seen before using objects from the clearance section, thrift store, I mean, you name it. I've probably tried to incorporate it somehow to just go all out and create a beautiful Halloween inspired centerpiece with potions and LED candles and just awesome stuff. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm working with here and I'm just gonna talk while I'm working in the background here because this takes a minute and I could be like other YouTubers and just cut everything down and be like, ta-da, just do this step and then click to the next one. But the reality is, is this takes a long time. So I have a few minutes to talk to you while you're watching and learning how to do this. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. I was at the thrift store, like you do, and I saw this weird metal stand thing and it looked pretty rough, not gonna lie. It was pretty rusty, but I sandpapered it down, spray painted it and decided that it was gonna be the base of my tree. What this stand was, I'm still not really clear to be honest with you. I suspect it was some sort of shoe hanger or I don't know, it, it's in like groups of two. So I feel like it's probably like a shoe tree stand. I don't know why it was rusty though. Maybe it was outside, I'm not sure. But anyways, refinish that to the, like a dark metallic finish. Threw in some black um, stems, silk stems. Those are the same ones if you have been watching since February uh, from this Tablescape challenge this year that I used in my goth Valentine's Day. And if you remember, they were on clearance from Halloween 2016 that I picked up at the beginning of 2017. So I've been holding on to them for a while. So I had enough of them where I could kind of just arrange them accordingly. Now, obviously, what you do here is going to vary because you might not have the same type of stand that I do or you might make your own. I don't know what you're capable of, but the point is get a base, get some silk stems, make them kind of hide all of the, the ugly bits, if you will. I use some white floral tape, which is what you saw there to kind of get all the stems to stay together and just keep them from slipping. I really don't have a problem with these stems because they're actually too long. Um, I'm just using some black satin ribbon to wrap up the bottom part where you're going to see when you're eating because that's going to be more like eye level. Um, I don't want all the stems showing and don't worry about the bottom. I got you girl. We're going to take care of that later. Uh, for now, we're just focusing on the main ugly parts, if you will. Uh, so I've got some leftover purple wire edged ribbon. I don't know what I had it for, but I've had it for a while. So I'm just going to keep using it until it's gone. I'm using that to just kind of snake up the tree and kind of cut some of the satiny finish from the ribbon there. Also bring in that kind of, I don't know, spooky element. I don't know why purple and black seems spooky and we always use it for Halloween, but we do. So whatever, that's fine. Um, but what I'm kind of doing is I'm just wrapping it up and kind of wrapping it over some of the branches slash wire metal stand supports just to kind of bring a little bit of color in and a little bit of dimension so you'll see some purple you'll see some black but then you might see some more black behind it i don't know it depends you know you got to think about this from eye level you're going to be looking up into this tree now i'll show you briefly later but while i'm doing this i'm just going to put this out there that obviously this is a very tall centerpiece so you might not want to make it as tall as i did and I'll give you the fact that it's probably a little bit too tall for my size table that I'm doing it on right at this moment, but I don't even care because I really like it and I can use it as a focal and then move it when we get down to sit if I want. You know, I have a lot of variations I can do with it, but also I'm telling you this because you can use it as a buffet display. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so you're gonna need some little jars some water gel beads, standard size and colors of your choosing. I'm just using some floral wire. Now I picked up some of these containers at the thrift store, some of them at estate sales, some of them at Hobby Lobby, actually most of them at Hobby Lobby because they were on sale, but a few of them did come from the thrift store. So it really just depends what you have the time or patience or money to do. Now, if they don't already have wires on them, and I say that because some of the ones from Hobby Lobby do in fact already have wires for them to hang on, which is awesome for this, um, you're gonna have to make your own. 
And don't worry, it's really not that hard. You just need some wire from the floral department and a few minutes to twist it, you know, and configure it how you like it. But for the most part, it is pretty easy. Um, it really is going to come down to whatever size tree stand you're on, how long do you want them to hang, you know, how many branches do you have, you know, do, do a few at a time and kind of practice hanging them up to see where they they sit. Now I debated putting green or black or a combination ribbon on mine just to kind of make them look cute, different, festive, I don't know, your choice. Um, and I decided to stay away from the green because I didn't want to have too many colors here. So if you've noticed, my colors are black, purple, and then my gel beads are white, um, blue, obviously, and orange. Uh, for the most part, and this keeps it a little bit more consistent and cohesive. So what I did is I put some blue gel beads uh, from the floral department in these containers and put water in it. Use one, it looks cool and it's a little bit easier than dealing with food dye, but two, I like how it looks. As you can see here, I did not uh, put water in all the containers because they look like cool little things. Now to cover up the bottom of my ugly stand with all of the bottom of the silk stems and whatever else in it, I have some black polyester napkins, which you've seen me probably use a dozen times by now because I freaking love these. I don't have to really iron them and they're easy to wash and you, you know, they're cheap. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just kind of draping them over the base and then putting some of my extra potion jars in there, some LED candles. I've got some black votives from the thrift store. I mean, just whatever you have to put around the bottom, uh, to, to just kind of cover it up and keep the fabric in place. Pretty easy peasy, isn't it? Um, whatever you have, just make sure if there's flames in it, like you're seeing here, I did mix some flames with some LED flames. Just make sure there's a safe distance between that and whatever silks you have draping down. Now, I like to kind of work this way where I figured out what the base was gonna be and then that way my LED lights, which I got from Amazon, um, are able to have their base where the battery pack is hidden underneath the, the stems. So like in the napkin pyramid, if you will, that's where the base is going to be. And I will make sure to link down below to this, uh, my website post on my blog, where if I have anything that I bought on Amazon, you can get as well. I wouldn't recommend anything that I hadn't gotten uh, myself and tried out at least Right now, I feel pretty confident that I'm, I'm flaking these products. So um, the black napkins you can get on Amazon, the lights you can get on Amazon, any gel beads. I mean, I can link to them if you guys want, but if, you're, if you have time to order them from eBay, order them from eBay because they're a heck of a lot cheaper or just get them at your local craft store if yours carries multiple colors. Mine pretty much carries, I think, blue, clear, and red. Pretty much America is what we carry apparently here in Florida. Anyways, turn your lights on when you get them. I'm using LEDs because I like how soft and small they are. Um, they're not really bulky or anything and they don't look like Christmas lights. And I got the ones that have all the different colors on them. So depending on what mood I'm in, I can change it to that color or I don't have to commit and I could let them just free play and go through them, which I like. So this is what I'm talking about. If you had a party for let's say Halloween, and you could get a black sheet and or tablecloth and some boxes, you could use this tr this tree, this glowing potion tree and some extra LED candles and create a really cool tiered and layered food buffet. But I'm not doing that because I'm not having a Halloween party this year for some reason. So I got some cheap black plates from the thrift store, these awesome plastic silverware that look like twigs slash branches from Amazon. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these, you guys. Apparently they're dishwasher safe. I haven't tried it yet, but even if I use them one time, they were really cheap and they were so cool. Don't worry, links are in the blog post so you can get all the details. Set the table, lots of lights, lots of LEDs. I mean, whatever you want, just be safe. Obviously you can see here, the lights play so beautifully against my little potion collection that's hanging up in there. Um, I will say if you did what I did where you started the base of the tree in one room and then moved it to the table when it was almost done, do not move it with your potions hanging on it. Put the potions that are hanging on your tree on when the tree is in its final destination because you don't want to break things all over. 
But also on that same note, that's partially why I use gel beads because I don't have to worry about colored liquid potentially going everywhere with food coloring in it. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and are learning all about how to make a glowing potion tree. I've enjoyed putting it together. Enjoy this project. Have a very safe and festive Halloween. Make sure you're tuned in to see what I make for my 2017 Tablescape Challenge coming up with the rest of my fall entertainment and tablescapes as well as Christmas. So excited! Alright guys, subscribe so you can see more and leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of this glowing potion tree.